Along the steep slopes of Samoa's lush mountains, water provides a readily available power source for a nation in need of electricity. The Talafaga Power Station, on the eastern coast of the island of Opolu, is one of a number of hydroelectric power plants feeding Samoa's national grid. The station has recently been upgraded with new hardware that protects against lightning strikes and helps limit blackouts. Few locals know much about the technology, but they welcome its impact. Samoa, with support from the ADB and the Australian Agency for International Development, is working to boost the reliability of electricity across the country. Businesses such as the popular Crabbers Bar in the capital, Appia, have long struggled with power shortages and resorted to costly diesel generators to keep the lights on. But with the help of a package of loans and grants, Samoa is increasing its electricity capacity and efficiency. One of the most significant changes comes not in the form of transmission lines or turbines, but with the arrival of a keypad outside users' homes and offices. With a new prepayment system, the national utility, the Electric Power Corporation, is managing to control debt and help its bottom line. With the old methodology where people use electricity first and then pay later, we find that it incurs a lot of debt. And if we don't manage these debts properly, eventually we have to write off a lot of debts. But having a system which allows consumers to pay first and use later, it's a very good system in the sense that you get your money up front and it really helps you with your cash flow and also with your financial position. Some customers are finding they can save money as well. Rosalia Fatu lives with her husband and six children in Appia. She says under the billing system, her family used to pay about 60 US dollars a month, but now their monthly fee is less than $30. For our daily consumption, we used to consume electricity without thinking twice about how much we were using. We lost track of the cost, but now it's much easier. We can monitor how much we use and consume less and save money. A savings that benefits both her household as well as Samoa's national electricity supply.